Oh my gosh. Good morning. Today's July 20th. I woke up and turned on Hulu and saw that the Blue Origins was launching today. So that was kind of cool. It's like a historic day. I woke up, I was looking at my YouTube comments and somebody asked me to do an updated what I eat in a day video. What the heck? I'm gonna do it. I've mentioned this before on my channel. In order to be successful in your weight loss journey, you need to keep it super simple, okay? Don't be extra. Don't feel like you need to be like these people that you see on YouTube and Instagram, creating these beautiful, fancy meals. <laughs> You're gonna fail miserably if you think that you need to make something new and fancy every single day with like ingredients you've never heard of before. <laughs> Keep it simple, something that you're gonna be able to maintain for a long period of time. Today we are doing oats because I need something that is going to help me feel energized and keep me stabilized for a long period of time because I'm gonna do a workout and I won't be having a meal until much later in the day. This meal is high in fiber. It's slow releasing for um, energy throughout your body. So whenever food is higher in fiber, it takes longer for your body to metabolize it. So what that means is that your insulin levels are going to be leveled out because it's slowly releasing energy into your body, which is also going to keep you fuller because it takes longer for your body to break down um, all of the fiber. So it's better to have a fi high fiber, my mouth is watering because this smells so good. It's better to have a high fiber, um, complex carb breakfast because it's going to keep your insulin levels level. It's going to keep you fuller for longer. Mm. Now you could go and get the pre-sweetened like packs, the little packs of oatmeal that they have, like the cinnamon, apple cinnamon, all of that, but the calories are higher and there's a lot more sugar in it and you're going to be feeling hungry sooner than later after eating that one because because there's so much sugar in it your insulin levels are going to spike and then they're going to drop and your body is going to metabolize that sugar very quickly so you're going to be hungry sooner and also you're going to feel like a crash after eating that i have about 100 calories in berries in here the almond milk was 35 calories and then the oats were like 120 so Like, we'll say 250 calories for this breakfast. I know my math is not perfect, but. I am just serving all of the best angles for you guys today. Uh, I am on the way to go work out. I looked at the workout ahead of time because they posted on their website what we're going to be doing. And I'm like, oh gosh. I'm nervous. I hope I survive this workout. There's like over 50 burpees that are going to happen. Jump rope. 
throw it to the side, finish without it. It's nothing worse than being extremely tired and getting frustrated with a piece of equipment. It's kind of like when you're really sweaty and you can't take your sports bra off and you just feel like going Hulk and just ripping it like, that's how I felt with that jump rope. I go to that gym maybe once, maybe twice a week. Um, it's just nice for me to get out and see other people who can do a lot more than I can. It just motivates me to push harder. At that gym, it is kind of clicky. Like, people have their groups and they kind of like stay within their groups, which is fine. Like, I'm a drive-by person. I come in, order a taco and leave and I'll be back next week. But there was a new guy teaching at that gym. When the new guy like left to the area, there was this group of girls and they were like, oh, I hate when he teaches. I'm gonna stop coming when he teaches. And I'm like, y'all are so mean. Like, I don't know. I don't get it. Like the workouts are all the same. I get it. Like you connect with a, another trainer better. Like I totally understand, but you, you guys are mean girls and I don't want to wear pink with you on Wednesdays. <laughs> I need to pack up some shirt orders. Um, by the way, if you guys didn't know, I still have the inhale exhale shirts available, the one that I'm wearing right now. Um, it's a long crop. Strong Nut Skinny sold out like that. It sold out so fast, which is kind of funny because over on Instagram, Instagram, on Instagram, I got a few messages being like, basically being like, how dare you, like body shaming skinny people. And I'm like, obviously, you guys haven't been following me for a long time because. I come from a place of being body shamed and the last thing that I'm about is body shaming other people. Um, and I've always said the goal is to be strong, not skinny, because if you're coming from an extremely overweight body, a lot of times in your head, it's just, I wish I was skinny, I wish I was skinny. And that creates unhealthy habits, being in that mindset. So that's why the goal is to be strong, not skinny. And there's even skinny people who are like, I don't want to be called skinny, I want to be called strong. So it can go both ways. You know what I mean? Cool. So if you're interested in getting this inhale, exhale shirt, please get it out of my house. Okay, post-workout snack. Uh, it's a little less than 200. No, maybe a little bit over 200 calories altogether. So I have these tuna creation lemon pepper. This is 80 calories and I'm going to be eating it with cucumbers. I'll use the cucumbers to scoop the tuna on. I have also some Bolt House Farm Ranch, 45 calories for two tablespoons. I'm only gonna be using one tablespoon. I just put it over the tuna and then use the cucumbers to eat it up. And then I also have about two cups of watermelon, 90 calories for two cups of watermelon. Watermelon is high in fiber, high in water content. So this is a great way to kill a sugar sweet tooth craving for a low amount of calories so if you guys haven't noticed i go for low calorie high volume um high nutritional value foods so the protein in the tuna is going to help keep me full uh the cucumbers is a good source of veggies and water uh and it's zero calories basically and then same thing for the watermelon i can get a large amount for very little uh, calories have you guys tried the thing where they're putting mustard on watermelon I feel like I should try it, like right now. Let me grab some mustard. Don't come out a lot, okay. Woo. I could see how people like it, but... Nope. I just have it in my head that mustard goes on sandwiches and hot dogs. So it's just not hitting right. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. I'm gonna say something that might be unpopular right now. Then I might get some Debbies in the comments, which is fine. Um, intuitive eating is not meant for people who are trying to lose weight. I have just come to the conclusion that if you are trying to lose weight, 
intuitive eating is not for you, especially if you are somebody who doesn't know what it feels like to feel satisfied and all you know is feeling like super full and you think that that means that you're satisfied. I could go on into this for like its own video. You should definitely learn to track your calories, learn how much food your body actually needs to maintain its current body weight as well as what it needs to be in a deficit. Then once you know that, then you can shift into intuitive eating. Your body's used to eating much more than you need. So if you just go into intuitive eating, your body is already kind of off its rocker. So going to calories and calculating how many calories you need to maintain if you're trying to maintain your weight, it's kind of like resetting your body. You have to reset your body to be used to those calories. And then you can go into intuitive eating, which is basically what I have done. I don't track calories every day. I've gotten to the point where I can eat intuitively, um, but I'm not necessarily trying to lose weight. A key to being successful in your weight loss journey is not waiting until you're hungry to eat. Plan it out as best you can and eat before you get hungry because once you get hungry, your willpower just goes out the door and you'll eat anything in front of you. So don't wait until you're super hungry to eat. I'm gonna throw this down. I'm gonna throw down on this salad uh, real quick because I actually have to run because I'm teaching my boot camp class tonight. So I need to leave here in like 20 minutes. Lunchtime, chicken fajita breast, avocado, and some kind of borderline questionable romaine lettuce. This is lunch and I mean, I'm not really hungry, but I could eat. Like I could feel myself getting hungry soon by the gas station because man after I do computer work and especially after I edit a video during editing a video the sound of my own voice puts me to sleep <laughs> so I stopped by the gas station and I got a bang dang it I should cut the bangs out but I feel okay after I drink them hmm. all right I'm waiting for my girls to get here um I've had a drop in attendance on my boot camp. I think it's because it's summertime and it's so, look at my nails, aren't they so pretty? <laughs> I think it's because it's summertime and it's so freaking hot outside that I think my attendance will go back up once it kind of cools down because we, we do work out outside. But today is a full body workout. Okay, we're doing a front raise, except our palms are not facing down, they're facing up. You're gonna place your hands down, you're gonna pop your feet out, you're gonna give me a push up. If you need to drop your knees for that push up, you can. Once you're back from that push up, you're gonna drop your, pop your feet in, you're gonna stand up, we're gonna curl, hammer curl, and press. Plank position, shoulders are stacked on top of our wrists, feet are wide for balance. We're gonna reach, two, three, four, one, two, to three. So we're gonna go one, two, three, and up. One, two, three, and up. Hey guys, let me turn this down. We got a lot going on right now. So, queen of leaving cabinets open. I am meal prepping. I'm prepping for me and Julio. Tonight I'm making dinner. I'm making three batches of this recipe to put away so he can take for lunch later in the week. And then also I'm just go ahead and preparing some lunches that are really easy for him to grab and go. I stay home so I can heat stuff up here, cook stuff here, make myself something that has to stay in the refrigerator. But Julio, has his own business, he's a plumber, like he's out <laughs> plumbing in brand new houses, doing service calls, so he's all over the place. Uh, so I need to prep him meals that are easy for him to pack and go. What he's been doing is he's been going to gas stations and heating up his meals, and then also we have, I have some snacks for him like Cliff Bars, uh, tuna sandwiches that he can just keep cool. Let me show you what I have going on first. So the first meal that I'm making is a pasta meal. All right, so I made this uh, pasta sauce. It's basically the can of roasted peppers with some garlic and olive oil. I don't like the way it tastes, so I don't know if I'm actually gonna use that or not. I'll let you know. Uh, but over here, I have the chicken going for the pasta. 
which that looks like it's about done. This is chicken that I already cooked. And then over here we have the noodles going. And then right here I have some ground beef that he's going to be using for his lunches. Um, I'm gonna make this into taco meat because taco meat is so diverse. You can do so much stuff with it. So I have different things for his lunches planned with the taco meat. This is probably only going to be about three days worth of taco meat for him. Maybe even two. I have to look. But he's going to have uh, the taco meat in low-carb tortillas. He's going to have a taco bowl with rice and black beans. All that stuff. Finished product here. The flash is on. I hope that looks okay. Uh, so I ended up just using the sauce that I used in the blender. It tastes okay to me. I think it tastes good, so I just threw the noodles back in the pan after draining them, threw some spinach in there, and then I also mixed the chicken in, and then I mixed in about half a cup of the leftover water that the pasta boiled in just to make it meld all together. It's a little tip I learned right there. Uh, and then I topped it with some Parmesan cheese, and this is what we're looking like. Also, the taco meat is put away and ready for tomorrow. Let me show you that. Bam, up there, ready for him tomorrow. I'm not sure what that face means. No, it's good. It's, do you wish there was more sauce? It's perfect, just like me. Okay, good. I thought that you were gonna say that it needs more sauce. Mm -hmm. All right, I made that sauce myself, right. like in the blender. Yeah. It's good. I love it. Oh, and there's spinach in there. I know you're not a fan of spinach, but... No, I do like it. I just... I don't want to eat, like... Just spinach, spinach by itself. Yeah. Got it. Oh, and I prepped some taco meat for tomorrow. Tomorrow.